New York CDL air brakes test. Question 1. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the Modulating control valve to wear out. Brake lines to plug. Brakes to fade or fail. Answer. Brakes to fade or fail. Question 2. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 3. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds Answer 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Question 4. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes to 2. Distance Effective braking Reaction distance Brake lag Answer Brake lag Question 5. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than Psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released 1 2 3 Answer 2 Question 6 what do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed oil Compressed air Compressed gas Answer Compressed air Question 7. The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have. In the tanks. In a modulating control valve. When you are applying to the brakes. Answer. When you are applying to the brakes. Question 8. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Never do it without downshifting first. Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. Answer If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 9. The air compressor governor controls When air is pumped into the air storage tanks Air pressure applied to the brakes The speed of the air compressor Answer When air is pumped into the air storage tanks Question 10. The service brake applies and releases. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving.
in the event of an emergency. Answer The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 11. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 12. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 13. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank too. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 14. A slack adjuster's free plane needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? 1 fourth inch 1 inch 1 half inch Answer 1 inch Question 15. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One half. One fourth. One third. Answer. One half. Question 16. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the front brake limiting valve Use of the spring brakes Braking effect of the engine Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 17. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake. Move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 18. What are the slack adjusters? It is the space between the back wheels. 
It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. It is an adjusting nut under the cap to adjust the springs. Answer It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 19. Under normal conditions in order to engage the parking brakes the driver must first Let the air out of the spring brakes Turn off the engine Be sure air brakes system is fully pressurized Answer Let the air out of the spring brakes Question 20. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? From 100 to 250 feet. More than 300 feet. Less than 100 feet. Answer. More than 300 feet. Question 21. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 65 feet. 32 feet. 45 feet. Answer. 32 feet. Question 22. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One half. One fourth. One third. Answer. One half. Question 23. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Sigh. 120. 180. Answer. 100. Question 24. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air. Air brakes use different brake drums. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Brakes require heavier return springs. Answer. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 25. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Air pressure Bolts and braces Springs Answer Air pressure Question 26. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Answer. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 27. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to 
stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. Answer Release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 28. To test the air leakage rate you should Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 29. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure, fluid, spring, air. Answer. Spring. Question 30. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Never. Answer. Never. Question 31. What is another name for controlled braking? Squeeze braking. Steady braking. Hard braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 32. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? After every four hours of service. At the end of each day of driving. Once a week. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 33. Controlled braking Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Answer Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 34. Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the Brake lines to plug Modulating control valve to wear out Brakes to fade or fail Answer Brakes to fade or fail Question 35. Air brake equipped vehicles have a backup hydraulic system, an air use gauge, an air supply pressure gauge. Answer An air supply pressure gauge. Question 36 What are spring brakes? The spring on the brake pedal. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Brakes used for parking. Answer If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. 
Question 37. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure, air, fluid, spring. Answer. Spring. Question 38. The brake pedal in an air brake system is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Control the speed of the air compressor. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Answer. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 39. The S cam pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Answer. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 40. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds. 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. Answer. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. Question 41. The parking brake applies and releases. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 42. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 80 pounds per square inch. 60 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 43. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Wedge drum S-cam drum Disc drum Answer S-cam drum Question 44. The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like Hydraulic pressure Spring pressure Air pressure Answer Spring pressure Question 45. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One fourth. One half. One third. Answer. One half. Question 46. The service brake applies and releases. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. In the event of an emergency. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. 
Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 47. The modulating control valve allows you to control the amount of pressure in the brake system. Spring brakes. Front brakes. Answer. Spring brakes. Question 48. The S-CAM controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Answer. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 49. The air compressor stops pumping air at what sign? 100. 150. 125. Answer. 125. Question 50. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Emergency. Parking. Service. Answer. Service. Question 51. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Answer. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 52. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Change the alcohol from a new bottle. Check and fill the alcohol level. Check the oil for alcohol content. Answer. Check and fill the alcohol level. Question 53. When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes, linings are pressed against the S-cam. Slack adjuster. Brake drum. Answer. Brake drum. Question 54. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. As little as possible. Only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Question 55. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air. Brakes require heavier return springs. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Air brakes use different brake drums. Answer. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 56. 
Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. After every working day. Once a week. Answer. After every working day. Question 57. Why must air tanks be drained? To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. To drain all the air out of the tank. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Answer. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 58. Controlled braking. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Answer. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 59. To test the air leakage rate you should Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 60. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? The S-cam may not rotate back when you release the brake metal. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 61. What are the slack adjusters? It is the space between the back wheels. It is an adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Answer. It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 62. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Emergency. Parking. Service. Answer. Service. Question 63. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? At the end of each day of driving. Once a week. After every four hours of service. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 64. The S-CAM Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum.
Question 65. To check the brake slack adjusters on SCAM brakes you should park on. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 66. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 20. 60. 45. Answer. 45. Question 67. The service brake applies and releases. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. In the event of an emergency. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 68. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One inch. One fourth inch. One half inch. Answer. One inch. Question 69. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One half. One fourth. One third. Answer. One half. Question 70. The emergency brake system uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 71. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly Answer. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 72. Air brake equipped vehicles have An air use gauge A backup hydraulic system An air supply pressure gauge Answer. An air supply pressure gauge. Question 73. To test the air leakage rate you should Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. 
Answer. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 74. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds. 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. Answer. 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. Question 75. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than Psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 2 3 1 Answer 2 Question 76 Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Brakes require heavier return springs. Air brakes use different brake drums. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 77 Excessive heat in the brakes can cause the Brakes to fade or fail Brake lines to plug Modulating control valve to wear out Answer Brakes to fade or fail Question 78 when is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Never. If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. Answer. Never. Question 79. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Answer. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 80. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Spring. Air. Fluid. Answer. Spring. Question 81. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. While the engine is running, Step on and off the brake pedal. Answer Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 82 The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Disc drum, S cam drum, wedge drum. Answer 
S cam drum. Question 83. The proper method of braking when going down a long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 5 15 10 Answer 5 Question 84. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To have a drink available if you get thirsty. So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 85. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Answer. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 86. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Brakes require heavier return springs. Air brakes use different brake drums. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 87. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you can go through the gears on the way down. So you can coast downhill. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Answer So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 88. The parking brake applies and releases. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 89. If the air compressor should develop a leak. What keeps the air in the tanks? The tractor protection valve. The emergency relay valve. The one-way check valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 90. The brake chamber fills with air pushing the rod out which moves the, which twists the Brake camshaft and tie rod Slack adjuster and brake camshaft Slack adjuster and tie rod Answer Slack adjuster and brake camshaft Question 91. What are spring brakes? The spring on the brake pedal. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Brakes used for parking. Answer. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. 
Question 92. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause Brake linings to split up Brake fade or failure Modulated control valve to wear out Answer Brake fade or failure Question 93. To test the air service brakes you should Brake firmly while slowly moving forward Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards Stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 94. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Increase braking. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Answer Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Question 95 How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power, and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Answer Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 96. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. Emergency S-cam Foot Answer Emergency Question 97. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Service. Emergency. Parking. Answer. Service. Question 98. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in No change of brake air pressure The loss of brake air pressure A buildup of brake air pressure Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 99 some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 100. The parking brake applies and releases. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer 
the parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 101, the stoplight switch tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. Tells you when the air brake system is low on air pressure. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Answer Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Question 102. The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have. When you are applying to the brakes. In the tanks. In a modulating control valve. Answer. When you are applying to the brakes. Question 103. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? Never. If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Answer. Never. Question 104. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 35 30 25 Answer 35 Question 105, for air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about, sigh. 100 150 125 Answer 100 Question 106. How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 107. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Service. Emergency. Parking. Answer. Service. Question 108. If you must make an emergency stop, brakes so you Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. Answer Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 109. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. 
Emergency. Foot. S cam. Answer. Emergency. Question 110. Controlled braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Answer. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 111. The air compressor governor controls. Air pressure applied to the brakes. The speed of the air compressor. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 112. The modulating control valve allows you to control the Amount of pressure in the brake system Front brakes Spring brakes Answer Spring brakes Question 113. The proper method of braking when going down a long and, or steep grades after selecting the proper gear, is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 5 15 10 Answer 5 Question 114. When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal. Compressed air is let go out of the system. The air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Answer. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 115. The S-CAM Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 116. To test the air service brakes you should Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 117. What are the slack adjusters? It is the space between the back wheels. It is an adjusting nut on the, the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. It is an adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. Answer. It is an adjusting nut on the, the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 118. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. 
Increase braking. Answer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Question 119. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 120. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Sigh. 80. 120. 100. Answer. 100. Question 121. Controlled braking is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Can be used while you are turning sharply. Involves locking the wheels for short periods of time. Answer is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Question 122. The emergency brake system uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 123 some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. The S-CAM may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Answer. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 124. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than sigh per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 1 2 3 Answer. 2. Question 125. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 25. 30. 35. Answer. 35. Question 126. If you must make an emergency stop, brakes so you use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. Answer. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. 
Question 127. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. Answer Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 128 What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed hair, compressed oil, compressed gas. Answer Compressed hair. Question 129. The stoplight switch tells you when the air brake system is low on air pressure. Tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Answer. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Question 130. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in The loss of brake air pressure A buildup of brake air pressure No change of brake air pressure Answer. The loss of brake air pressure. Question 131. To check the brake slack adjusters on SCAM brakes you should park on. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 132 How should you check that the spring brakes come on when the air pressure in the system drops below a certain level? Park on a slight incline, drain off air pressure, set parking brakes and check for movement. Park on level ground, wait for normal air pressure, release the parking brake, move the truck forward slowly, and apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Answer Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, release the parking brake when you have enough air pressure, shut the engine off, and repeatedly press and release the brake pedal. Question 133 if your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 134. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Never do it without downshifting first. Answer 
If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 135. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in The loss of brake air pressure A buildup of brake air pressure No change of brake air pressure Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 136. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The one-way check valve. The tractor protection valve. The emergency relay valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 137. Air brake equipped vehicles have An air supply pressure gauge An air use gauge A backup hydraulic system Answer An air supply pressure gauge Question 138. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 75 125 150 Answer 125 Question 139 The braking power of the spring brakes is not affected by the condition of the service brakes. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. Increases when the service brakes are hot. Answer Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. Question 140 when is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. Never. If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Answer. Never. Question 141. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? Less than 100 feet. More than 300 feet. From 100 to 250 feet. Answer. More than 300 feet. Question 142. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Parking. Emergency. Service. Answer. Service. Question 143. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 150 125 75 Answer 125 Question 144. What are spring brakes? The spring on the brake pedal. Brakes used for parking. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Answer 
If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 145. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 80 60 50 Answer 60 Question 146 why must air tanks be drained? To drain moisture and oil out of tank. To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. To drain all the air out of the tank. Answer To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 147, the air compressor governor controls. Air pressure applied to the brakes. The speed of the air compressor. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Answer. When air is pumped into the air storage tanks. Question 148. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One fourth. One half. One third. Answer. One half. Question 149, if you must make an emergency stop, brakes so you Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Use the hand brake before the brake pedal. Answer Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.